Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah halts briefing and makes obnoxious reporter pay in huge way who rudely interrupted her. Sarah Sanders had her hands full when she was continuously interrupted by an obnoxious reporter who constantly badgered the White House press secretary by calling out when it wasn't her turn to speak. The exchange can best be compared to a teacher working in a preschool classroom trying to teach children to raise their hand and wait for their turn to speak. There's always that one unruly child who likes to be disrespectful and disrupt the class. In this case, it appears to be April Ryan from CNN who was playing the part of the disrespectful child and Sarah Sanders was the firm teacher reminding her students to talk only when it's their turn. April Ryan is a political analyst for CNN who barked out questions about voter suppression while Sanders was busy talking to someone else who approached her with more respect. Political Insider reported that the Ryan and Sanders basically sparred in a battle of demanding respect. While Sanders, the woman in charge of the room, was addressing questions from another, it was Ryan who disrespected the reporter who was speaking at the time and Sanders as well. Ryan poorly represented CNN who already has enough trouble with the public, constantly being labeled as fake news and Ryan didn't do much to fix that reputation at all. Further reported was the fact that Ryan finally put her hand up like a good student and she was called upon by Sanders. That's how an organized classroom or press room should run. In this case, the lines were blurred between babysitting and addressing respectable reporters who have a job to do. Not everyone gets called on every time, so people like Ryan really need to wait their turn. This incident seems like Sanders only called on Ryan to prove her point and put Ryan back in her place. Have a seat. Without being prompted, Ryan yelled out a question involving voter suppression after Sanders had called on another reporter in the room. In fact, she did it repeatedly, putting on a show that could only come from a CNN reporter. The two continued to spar, eventually leading to Ryan throwing her hand up in disgust, a sure sign she had been shut down by Sanders, at least for now. I'm asking a question because you choose not to call on me, Ryan fumed, seemingly unaware that the press secretary is not obligated to call on anyone in any particular order. Sanders passed on the question regardless, and Ryan tossed her hand in the air and whined, that's all right, fine. As we said, just like a daycare. April was called upon later and hopefully learned a valuable lesson about waiting for one's turn. You did not mention voter suppression in that, Ryan queried. Voter suppression has been an issue for decades, is voter suppression now on the table? We want to do everything within our power to protect the integrity of our elections, Sarah replied, and we're going to look at that on a number of fronts. Guess that destroys the won't or can answer narrative. Because she did and she could. The Sanders-Ryan confrontations have been going on for some time. Ryan was quickly put in her place when she previously asked whether or not the president would resign after his lawyer's home and his office had been raided by the FBI. No, and I think that's an absolutely ridiculous question, Sanders blasted. And the CNN reporter got absolutely obliterated when she questioned White House criticism of Democrats after Trump's State of the Union speech when they acted incredibly un-American. What is so un-American about this, this year, after this has been going on for all of these years? April asked of Sarah. I think it's un-American not to be excited about the fact that more people in this country have jobs than they did before, the fact that more people in this country have higher wages than they did before, the fact that the economy is booming like it wasn't before, the fact that ISIS is being crushed like it wasn't before, she shot back. These are things that I don't care what party you are from, these are things that every American should be excited about and be able to celebrate. Talk about an epic dismantling. Sarah Sanders destroyed April Ryan. Sanders is right. When the country does well at something, then it doesn't matter what political party you're from, but you should feel good and be excited for it. If the unemployment rates improve across the nation, then everyone should be happy about that. It doesn't matter who accomplished it, but if people are working more now, than before, then that's an accomplishment to be proud of. America needs supporters who can put away their party lines and see the good in everything. If something good happens under President Trump, and that something helps the country, then even Democrats should support it. What kind of person dislikes an accomplishment that helps people in America just because the task was completed by someone in a different political party? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.